Hi everyone, it's your boy Zach, and uh, I was going to do a review of <coughs> Penguin Episode 1, uh, but uh, I thought of this video title, and I just couldn't wait. It was too good. Uh, the title, not the subtitle. I've actually had this subject for a few days, but um, the original title was Bingo Wings, and I thought that was too mean, so I was like, I'm going to wait until I have a better uh, title. So before I start, comic book the comic book. A Functional History of Modern Comics. <coughs> Link is in the direction and um, haven't started on this Batman. I guess this is all reprinted material, but they need to reprint it before they start the newest Long Halloween uh, maxi series. Um, and then just watching the same old stuff. Okay, so um, uh, T. Franklin, I've covered her quite a lot over the years. Funny thing is, uh, there was actually several years where I was aware of her and I didn't cover her because just quite frankly, I was dealing with enough lunatics at the time. I didn't have, you know, a slot on my roster for another lunatic. Um, and uh, I've covered this. Uh, T. Franklin is, is a criminal, is an extortionist, uh, steals credits for characters she didn't create or co-create. Um, and now she's graduated to uh, hawking cheap Chinese shit on TikTok. But uh, there's more to the story than just laughing at her for selling a uh, menopause fan. Uh, so let's just watch uh, some of the type of content she does now. I may not be able to unsubscribe from perimenopause and menopause, but I'm so glad I got this fan from the TikTok shop that is keeping me cool and refreshed. Click that orange card and get yours today. Uh, cool. I'm not going through menopause, so I'll probably. Okay, so, uh, bragging about her resume, uh, for people who don't know, she had a brief career as an indie, uh, writer, um, that stopped for some reason, whatever reason. She then extorted DC, uh, into hiring her. I've covered that ad nauseum. Uh, she got one work assignment at uh, Marvel, which was quite possibly the worst comic I've ever encountered. It was awful. And then she uh, gave uh, a pony vitiligo. This is her claim to fame. But her work has stopped. Um, uh, the The age of the diversity hire is over. So she, all she has is to continually remind you that she was the first black uh, Harley Quinn writer, black, queer, disabled, but somehow able to jump, dance, run, and pirouette, uh, autistic comic writer. Uh, so, moving on. I'm opening up this fan that I got while I was gardening from the TikTok shop. Hey, y'all, it's a little, look at so thing. Gardening is getting high. Uh, Am I the only one who she, gardens? She gets high and she shops on TikTok. Nah, because why? Uh, but, um, one th Okay, so. I am so excited. This weekend, if... There it is. There it I, is. If you aren't sure if you should do the TikTok shop yet, check out my stats for six days. I've only been serious for six days. And look at what I've made so far. Stop sleeping on TikTok shop. Get to it. Do it now. <laughs> what are you... Okay, so let's look at the stats, although it does kind of screw it up when I... Uh, I think I'll just let it play. You're waiting for it. The holidays are the coming. This is six... Volume days. down. Okay, so um, she's... Uh, I don't know what GMV stands for, but I believe that's the gross revenue of all the items uh, that she's uh, uh, hawked uh, to you. Um, the uh, items sold is 132 her estimated commission is two hundred eighty-nine dollars out of uh, five and a half uh, thousand, um, and uh, I now you look at this in one respect and you say, okay, two hundred eighty-nine dollars. That's not that's not a lot of money, but if you can do that consistently, that's a good amount. And mind you, she is also faking disability and getting a full disability check every single month. So this will buy a lot of that hydroponic. But more seriously, it's proof of a platform that works to sell. 
Now I want to show you some other, uh, uh, sorry, <laughs> it's just distracting. Like I want to see everything, but when I pause it, um, so this is a critical drinker. Uh, he has 2.12 million subscribers. He says, I'm here to deliver reviews. That should be in quotation marks. Uh, breakdowns and analysis on uh, modern entertainment media. Um, so 2 million subscribers, that's very, very healthy. Unfortunately, when he goes to sell something, very low percentage. So 2 million subscribers, and I'm one of these backers, 5,000 backers. So that is one quarter of 1% of his audience that's actually willing to do anything except for type go woke go broke in the comments so i asked uh, chat gpt um, to compare this to traditional advertising and it says that uh, direct mail marketing uh, typically has two to five percent of response rate so that's much better than the one quarter of one percent then you got the uh, email marketing one to two percent uh, display ads those are actually not that great but pretty much comparable so this is banner ads if you remember banner ads those are the things your brain kind of ignores because you've seen them on every website ever uh, Heidi McDonald was literally giving away banner ads because she couldn't sell them to anyone um, so two million subscribers and the follow-through for sales is as good as banner ads. And when has ever, have you ever clicked on a banner ad ever? I mean, this is one quarter of 1%. And then Google ads, uh, the conversion to sales is about two to 4%. So you see that this is one of the things I've been harping on, where I talked about the polarity of fandom has been reversed. That geeking is getting excited about hating things, not excited about liking things. YouTube has become, and uh, this will, I'll, I'll probably do the Penguin uh, review tomorrow, but um, it's become a place for middle-aged men to hate things. Not to hate like groups of people for their identity, but just to kind of auto-hate just everything. Like, ah, I don't like a female penguin. Ah, okay, there's a male penguin show. I don't like that either. It seems like you don't like anything. Like, it feels like you just like not liking things whereas TikTok uh, is I mean you can even have an imbecile criminal <laughs> make $289 you know $300 uh, a week just selling cheap Chinese crap um, but uh, so I've been talking about wanting to transition really to I'm not gonna quit YouTube but I really want to spend a few more months doing a couple things. Number one, really learning about selling things on TikTok. Uh, number two, um, getting my late books fulfilled. So when I start selling on TikTok, you know, there's going to be people in the comments. He's always late. I, there, there, there seems to be some mission creep. Uh, now I'm hearing that every single one of my books is three years late. Zero of my books have been three years late, but there, there's people now it's kind of a thing to just say, I guess that's the standard. You say everything is three years late. Um, so I can just put there all of my sales from uh, uh, previous campaigns have been fulfilled. Um, but uh, so there's this other account and uh, TikTok is very different in YouTube. I think average person who really likes YouTube and goes to it every day. You might subscribe to a couple channels. I literally subscribe to thousands of uh, <coughs> TikTok channels. So I don't know the names of them. I just like recognize. I was like, oh, these guys. So these are two brothers. I think they're from Chicago. And they've got a, uh, a spiel, an elevator pitch, uh, you might say. And uh, as you can see, some of these do quite well, and apparently they've been doing this for years. So it goes a little something like... I don't know if y'all heard, my brother and I, we create mini comics. We tell you about them. We got four different ones. What's your favorite foods? Duking it out with Epic Battle Royale. We got an alien trying to save the world, but nobody understands. A legendary dark comedy about two writers. Never write, others procrastinate, go on adventures with a talking pet kitten. And lastly, we got a short story about a little girl in a scribble world. And that's what we do. 
So they basically do the same spiel, but they do it in different locations, at different speeds, interacting with people. There's some, you know, on the... Uh, I don't know if y'all heard. My brother and I. Streets of Chicago. Excuse us, me, my brother. We write zine short stories, many comics. We got four different Wait, favorite foods duking it out on Epic Battle Royale. We've got an alien trying to save the world, but nobody understands. A legendary dark comedy about two writers never write. I'll just procrastinate. Go on, that's what we We got a short story about a little girl. It's a world. But that's what we do. <laughs> so, this is great stuff. I, I love this. Now, that's not my subject, you know, the type of genres I like. But the way they sell their stuff and the way they have honed it, um, I just find this amazing. You see here, um, comments, 709 comments. Uh, that's a rare YouTube video that gets that many. But there's just so much engagement. And I've really noticed that in, that in comics talk, as they call it, it's a very, very different attitude. The acrid, uh, arguing, angry uh, uh, comics YouTube that really doesn't translate to TikTok. That type of stuff would not be successful. There's a lot of, um, it's funny, one of these guys, I follow a couple dozen uh, comics talk channels. Uh, one of the guys, you know, you just recognize his face, you don't know the name of his channel. But then he suddenly mentions he's a teacher. And I'm like, you know what? You seem like you would be a really good teacher. So it's a lot of normal people, happy people, People who actually buy things, even if it's cheap ass Chinese crap, like there's actual sales. Um, and T. Franklin, percentage wise, is more successful than the critical drinker, even with his 2 million subscribers. So T is basically a gross old auntie, and she sells shit to gross old aunties. Like she sells menopause fans, and oh god, I'm gonna. I, I was gonna say I, I need to prepare yes, baby. I got you. like gross Check old Mrs. Roper uh, calf size. I need y'all to hurt TikTok shop. Okay. I Harley Quinn right here. Sorry, there's one flabby arms. Concealed flabby arms. Pick up this plus size cardigan along with this butterfly captain, right? Great news. My pleasure. I know it's like if you don't have flabby arms. Keep on scrolling, because this video right here, it is not for you. Okay, so I know at one point you're just like, I want to vomit right now. But, like I said, there is a savviness to T. She knows she's a gross old auntie. She realizes her audience is gross old auntie. So what is she going to sell them? Caftans, moo-moos, sweaters that hide your bingo wings. A, man, a menopause fan, which is just a fan, but you call it a menopause fan. This is good stuff. Like, I can see T being actually quite successful in her realm of selling cheap shit to gross old aunties like herself. Um, I'm guessing, not to be mean, but I'm guessing a lot of the sales of these guys' comics are people who just like their style. Like, oh, this is cute. I think they sell them for like 99 cents and they probably I'm, I'm guessing they probably push people to you know hey it's only 99 cents why not buy all four of them uh, but I'm seeing some really good stuff and more importantly I'm seeing a growing happy healthy market one of the reasons I did multiple rounds of culling of my own subscribers is because I realized how many of them just they want to pose as a customer and be treated like a customer, but they don't want to be a customer. 95% of the time when someone is like, I'm never buying your stuff again, I go check my records and they haven't bought any of my books since 2018. So I'm going to spend a few more months, obviously I need to get my late books out, my new late books and my old late books, which are the um, back catalog. Um, uh, but I'm very, very excited about uh, TikTok uh, shop, uh, Facebook, um, because I feel like uh, YouTube has effectively been ruined. Um, I'll cover this in the Penguin. I, 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 I do see some improvement in that the thing that I was told that I was crazy for saying like a month ago, now I'm getting comments and messages where people are like, oh, I thought you were crazy, but now I see what you're talking about, because... 
the whole thing, and I can talk about, I've talked about that before, and this isn't really what this video is about, but, like, things are sp specifically being made for Critical Drinker and his audience, and they hate that because they don't want to like things. Their business, the Birthday Party Clowns' business, is everything is terrible, and if everything isn't terrible, it kind of ruins it. Like, they will do 20 hours a week of content on how they don't like female penguin but male penguin comes out and it's good and i'm going to i think it's actually best that i i didn't do my review today because i want to wait and see if they review it because i think what's going to happen is what we saw with other things that were good and made for them they're going to ignore them until enough people say like hey are you going to review this then they're going to kind of sullenly acknowledge that they heard it was good then they're going to give it a tepid review, which is as positive as it ever gets. And then they'll find a reason to say it actually wasn't good, like they did with X-Men 97. Or, um, oh, uh, this uh, the, the showrunner's tweets from seven years ago, They she said this about Republicans. It's like, oh, okay, so now we hate the, you know, the, uh, the Penguin show. Um, but anyway, I'm really excited about the... Uh, uh, I mean, I mean, this is a imbecile lunatic criminal, <laughs> and she can make twelve hundred dollars a month selling Chinese crap to gross old aunties. You know, imagine building, you know, a territory where there's greater success than you do at YouTube, where again, you have two million followers. To 5,000 backers? That's That shows me that these people aren't here to support things. They're just here to laugh at things that are bad and say everything is awful. Um, so trying to convert that into like, hey, I know I've programmed you just to hate everything, but I need you to stop hating everything all the time to like something. You see that success rate is very low, one quarter of 1%. Whereas you get this disgusting old lunatic criminal selling Mrs. Roper caftans and cheap, cheap Chinese freaking electronics that are most likely going to start a structure fire. And she has seen, percentage-wise, much better success than supposedly the most successful uh, YouTuber in the uh, anti-SJW space. So um, find an audience, in this case gross old aunties with bingo wings show that you are one of them <laughs> then enthusiastically sell them a bunch of crap there's one funny one i gotta find she's she's talking I know you okay. that writing okay so this was actually easy i went to go look for it it was the first one so sorry it's it's so strange um t is talking to the audience but she's really talking to herself because look what she says I know it's such you didn't get that writing gig or that job or that brand deal, but baby, hold on. I'm, 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 I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Is wanting a brand deal like just like a a common dream of you know everyone? Like she's clearly talking to herself. She's angry that she missed out on a brand deal, um, but anyone can hawk this you know cheap Chinese crap on TikTok and make an okay percentage if you have really any kind of audience oh that was the other thing I probably should have gotten this ready um, but the amount of subscribers for just like a Joe Schmo dad talking about his comic book collection way higher than on YouTube and YouTube it can take years and with TikTok it can take a few months to build a larger audience and an audience that engages more and actually buy stuff um but i'm just looking for like happy healthy people with money who want to read good comics that's excuse me <laughs> i'm looking for happy healthy people with money who want to buy good comics i got job i need to work on a spiel the other thing i noticed about those guys is they have that um uh they've got their their spiel like they've got it down to a science they can get it out in like 20 to 30 seconds and that's one thing i really need to work on uh, pitching because you see my uh, when I launch an Indiegogo it'll be five to ten minutes of like so uh, there's these guys and, and it was that type of thing like I need to ha I need to really hone 
on elevator pitch and really just just sell it. Um, so I'm very excited about this. It's uh, September, so I got about uh, three more months to uh, learn about um, selling stuff on TikTok specifically, and then I'll probably launch that um, when the the new year uh, in the new year. Um, but I'm very very excited about it because. I think um, it's not just drinkers. It's, it's and it's not just you know birthday party clowns. It's a lot of people. But the YouTube well has been poisoned. There was the the fantasy that you could critique or roast and then sell comics, but too much roasting and too much critiquing and too much. This is the worst thing ever, and then it just becomes this this atmosphere of just hating everything. Not hating people for the color of their skin, but just just I I don't like. F Male, I don't like female penguin and I don't like male penguin. Like what, what, what? It just sounds like you hate everything for different reasons. Anyway, if you like to like things for specific reasons, um, Comic Book the Comic Book, a functional history of modern comics. Link is in the description. Thanks for watching. Bye.